Imagine sharing your life with another person, it was never just you. Your dreams, your feelings, your aspirations, your emotions, your entire personality and identity are based on other people. You were never alone. But at the same time, you were very lonely in. Because in, you were the only one. Because in, you were the only one who loved, desired, longed, cared, longed, hoped, prayed, felt, and hoped, the burden of vulnerability rested solely on your shoulders. No one has shared it with you. You weren't entangled with anyone, but they were firmly embedded within you. You were very lonely, but not alone, because she doesn't know who she is without her. And years later, when the screams have died down and the pain has numbed a little, you realize it was all a deception. You spent your precious years loving someone who never loved you back and couldn't love you back. You girlfriend, realize that you were just an option, a passerby. Just a girl from. They, well, they were the beginning and end of her, story that made you who you are. When you get a little older and life changes, everything becomes clear. That I don't know who I am. You never did that. Your essence was based on another soul, s soul, that could not sustain you. When you see your friends and classmates succeeding in their careers and relationships and moving forward in life, you sit there and wonder. When will the wound heal? When do you find? Again? When do you feel full? When will I love you again? Will I love, again? Will you love just as fiercely and just as softly? Will it be possible to restore, s innocence? You sit there drowning in these thoughts while everyone else's life moves on. And FND love does not, expire at a certain age. I'm constantly trying to remind myself that if I can give, multiple chances to other people, I can most definitely give myself a chance, over and over. If I fail one day, I will try again. If I fail again, I will try again, am constantly trying to remind myself that nothing other than God's love, will ill me. That my perception is extremely limited, and that my God has, an entire intricately knitted plan just for me. A custom-tailored destiny that, is beautiful and kind beyond the limits of my imagination. I'm constantly, trying to remind myself that just because I still cry and hurt over the past, it does not mean I'm weak. I'm constantly trying to remind myself that the saying, what goes around, comes around, is much deeper than it sounds, that indeed, people will ultimately suffer the consequences because my God, is just. I'm constantly trying to remind myself that any love I ever gave out, has never gone to waste. No love is ever wasted. No love is ever wasted. No, love is ever wasted. Even if to the naked eye it seems as if it was slashed and, bruised and thrown away, it was not wasted. I'm constantly trying to remind, myself to take it slow. One step at a time. I'm not far behind and neither am, I ahead. There is no such thing. I am exactly where I am meant to be. I am, important. I am valuable. I am worth it. So, here's to a journey to healing. Excerpts of Firstery